This is the first inspection station after a car rolls off the line. Here, factory workers do wheel alignment and headlight adjustments. First comes the wheel alignment. A technician hooks up a diagnostic device to the OBD port under the dash and powers it on. The machine automatically moves the steering wheel left and right to center it. This step helps the system learn the steering column's position. Next, they place a level gauge on the steering wheel to check if it's sitting straight. If the wheel's not centered, the alignment won't be accurate. Once it's aligned, a green light confirms it's good to go. Then lasers scan the exact position of all four wheels. The car gets slightly adjusted so it's centered on the platform. Now, the machine checks the caster and camber of the front wheels. These values show up live on a screen underneath the car. Based on those numbers, the tech adjusts the caster by loosening the nuts and rotating the tie rods. That changes the rod length and corrects the angle. If caster is off, the car will pull to one side. It happens with older cars after uneven wear. So, if you're buying used, take it for a good test drive. Next, they align the rear caster. First, the bolts under the rear axle's control arms are loosened. Then, they fine-tune the angle by rotating the eccentric bolts. Once the numbers look right, they tighten everything down with a torque wrench. The process is the same on both sides. Then comes the headlight adjustment. While alignment is being done, another tech adjusts the height and width of the beams. Misaligned headlights can make night driving unsafe. The machine checks beam position in real time. The top screw changes the height and the bottom screw adjusts the width. They just need to land within standard limits. If a headlight was removed during a repair, it needs to be readjusted. Fun fact. Your left headlight is supposed to aim a little lower than the right. Know why? After that, they check the brightness. Both beams are hitting around 90,000 candela. Finally, that white speckled panel up front, that's for calibrating the radar used in adaptive cruise control. It fine-tunes performance so the system can keep a safe following distance. Once calibration is done, the car moves to the roller test area. Ever heard of that? We'll show you in the next episode.